Hi all, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a short tutorial to teach you how to use Python and Selenium in order to bypass vCapture version 2. So some of the places you will see vCapture is in forms, login page and registration page. So the reason why they put vCapture is to stop your bot from automating certain tasks on the website. However, this method is not foolproof and today I'm going to teach you how to overcome it. So here are the steps to bypass vCapture version 2. First, we'll create a Selenium bot and this bot will go to a demo website provided by Google in order to test our program. And next, instead of the usual pictorial challenge, we'll be going to the audio challenge and resolve this challenge with the Google Assistant to convert audio to text. So allow me to orient you to the website. So once your bot go to this website, your bot have to click this chat box over here. Okay, so instead of solving this pictorial challenge, you will click this audio challenge and click play. So once contact me feature. Okay, so once the audio has been played, Google Assistant will translate the audio into text and fill it up here and click verify. Okay, so with this context, now we go to a prerequisite before you continue with this tutorial. First, you need to make sure that you have Chrome version 84. How to check for your Chrome version is very simple. You just go to this option, settings, about Chrome, and you'll be able to see your version over here. And next, you need to install five Python packages. First is a speech recognition, which is the Google Assistant to convert from audio to text. And next is Selenium. And the next three packages is to download the audio file from the Google website. So I'll be providing you with the link to my code in the description box below. So you just go to the GitHub link and you'll be able to download my source code. So when you download my source code, you'll be able to see this, this folder over here. So this is a file that you need to run. So it's very simple. You just need to open up your ID and open the vcapture underscore solver.py file. So once you open up this file, it actually can work instantly. So you just need to run the file over here. And you will see your bot starting up. So the first thing you will do, you will click on this checkbox and go to the audio challenge and click play. To play the audio challenge. This and next, you will fill up the text box and press verify and this process takes about five seconds to complete okay so for those people that want to understand the code uh, i'll be doing the step-by-step -step guide over here now so first you need to import the libraries that is required next you need to set up your board so it's very simple to create a board you just need to in this line of code then you try to run and your bot will open up this browser okay so next you need to go to the website so let's run again so now your bot will open up this browser and go to the website okay so now for those people that want to understand the code in details I'll go through the code step by step so first, you need to import the right libraries. So you just copy paste. These are all the libraries that are required for this program to work. And next, uh, I'll put in a short delay function so that uh, it will ensure a smooth transition between my automation tasks. And next, I will create a Chrome driver. So by executing this, it will open up the browser. So we can try it out now. So you open up this browser, but you won't do anything other than this. Okay, let's close it. So now we need to go to the website, the demo website. Okay, let's run it again. Open up the browser and go to the Google website over here. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to click on the check box over here. 
So to click on the chat box, it's very simple. You just need to copy and paste this over here. So we run again. Okay, so after clicking on the chat box, we need to click on the audio challenge over here. So we include the code now. And run it again. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to click on this play button and activate Google Assistant to convert the audio to text. Okay, so now let's do it. Okay, now let's run the program again. And you hear the audio challenge. The messages schedule. So now, uh, what we need to do right, is if you go inspect, if we click on this play button, you actually see the download link for the audio file. So if you actually copy and paste this here, okay, uh, deleting this 443, you can actually hear the audio file. The messages schedule. Okay, so now we need to download this audio file into our folder so that we can use Google Assistant to convert this audio file into text. So the code will be as such. So if you go to your audio file, okay, let's delete this. Okay, so let's run this program and you'll be able to see the audio file generator over here. So let's run this again. In your cooking layout. So you can see actually Google actually successfully converted the audio challenge into text over here and you can see these two files appearing so if you click here it will be exactly the same audio yeah, challenge cooking layout. Okay, so the last thing you need to do is to key in the passcode into the recapture text box so to do this is very simple just put this in and run the whole program again So you can see it will go to an audio challenge and click play. This account can provide. So after the audio sound has been completed, it will convert from audio to text and fill up the recapture automatically. So with this, I've come to the end of my tutorial. Thank you for your time. If you like my content, please remember to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.